regarding the uh, push to the action i i have a theory in, in my mind uh, please correct me if i'm wrong that in ayurveda excess amount of fluid or water part in the body is considered as kleda which is not so very good that's why you know repeated drinking water only even if, if the person is not thirsty is not recommended as per ayurveda so because it relieves out the excessive water content the system is better maintained the dhatus are better well formed and excessive accumulation of kleda in the body is avoided that's why probably it acts as pushtida see whenever you just to use um, excessive kleda is there in the body definitely it is going to cause a problem it not only clear that anything in excess is always injurious to the body body has certain things and it has its own proportions and limitations one has to be in that limitations and proportions if clear that inside the increases then automatically all the clear that will come to the basti once again and that ultimately results into prameha so that clear that has to be moistness and moisture or something like that it has to be maintained as per one's required see when a person one who is working in the field outside the sun will have a more perspiration then he requires a lot of water and he will be drinking more and more water but if when he is drinking more and more water also but in the same way he is also removing the water from the body so, so for him doesn't uh, this make any uh, problem otherwise if you are taking too much of water repeatedly in order to avoid the crystal formation and all those things and you are sitting in ac you are not doing any physical exertion then that will retain in the body and that clay that becomes a problematic thing that has to be avoided so we need to understand exactly where to do what to do and what not to do so very clearly clay the simply doesn't cause any problem if it is reaches beyond a limit definitely it is going to cause a problem